Hey, hi friends. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up a marine reef tank. Many of us think that setting up a marine tank is tedious, but take it from me, it is not as complicated as it sounds. I have done it a few times in the past. All we need to do is follow some fundamental steps and we can make it. This video is going to be a simple and basic guide to set up a salt water tank. We have filled this container two days back to naturally dechlorinate. I am adding Microbe Lift Extreme Water Conditioner. This will help me to remove chlorine and detoxify heavy metal. Dosage would vary from brand to brand. I am going with the instructions given in the bottle. After this, I am going to add salt. There are multiple salts available in the market. I got this red sea salt and I'm going to use this. This is a very important step in setting a marine tank. I'm adding salt gradually so that there is no lumps. It dissolves and mixes well with the water. I'm using one of my existing uh, motor pump to mix the salt well. Add salt in such a way that you get a salinity between 1.022 and 1.025 try to add less so that if it is lesser you can always add more let it mix well in the meanwhile i'll show you the tank this is a 25 gallon all-in-one system at the back there are three compartments uh, in the first compartment i am adding a diffuser a three section slot first slot i am adding sponge second slot i'll add carbon and the third slot I'll put media. Water will get biologically and mechanically filtered in this rack and it will come to the second rack. Here I am planning to keep a marine pure block and keto. After this the water will flow to the return pump section where the water is then pumped to the main tank. Ensure to have enough space around the rock so that it is easy to clean the glasses of the tank. Next we are adding sand. This is a live sand that I am using for this project. There are multiple brands of live sand available in the market. While adding we need to ensure that we don't disturb the rock. This is the brand of life sand that I am using for this project. It's time to check the salinity level using an hydrometer. Looks like it's good to go. The salinity level has come just nice between 1.024 to 1.025. Now it's time to add water. It is natural that the tank looks cloudy when you add water. Don't worry, it will settle down automatically in few hours. I got this bio magnet clarifier in the life sand packet that I bought. This will help to clear the water faster. So I am going to add it now.
let's wait for few hours for it to settle down. Take a look at the tank now. See how clear the water is. Do remember, water evaporates. When it comes to marine aquarium, the salinity level will go high. So it is important to top up dechlorinated fresh water regularly depending upon the evaporation level. Here you may think that the fish tank is ready and you can add the fishes, but not yet. Unlike freshwater tank, marine tank requires cycling or nitrogen cycle to happen. Now don't get confused or uh, worried by the term cycling. In simple terms, we need to create an environment for the fishes and corals to thrive. Now how do we do it? We have to add beneficial bacteria. There are various beneficial bacteria available in the market and at the back of the uh, bottle you will have instructions on how to add the bacteria. Now once you add the bacteria, it needs something to feed on. So I would suggest to put in a shrimp so that it can feed on and it can grow. This is the brand I'm using, Microplift Startup Bacteria. As per the instructions given, I need to add bacteria daily until the cycling is complete. I am adding this prawn now for the bacteria to feed on. The last and the final thing is patience. You need to have a lot of patience in this hobby. So we will wait for 6 weeks. In the next 6 weeks, we need to ensure that we dose the bacteria as recommended in the bottle. We also need to top up the fresh water level and also check the salinity. I am as excited as you guys. We will update you in the next video.